here we go. Quick video update of the 2021 breeding season. Today's January 1st and did all our uh, normal cleaning for our breeders, which I think everybody should do. Kind of clean out your cages, you know, get a nice fresh start. Everything's real nice and clean. Paired up some of my birds already. So they can be starting early for the year. This pair is already on eggs. This was the trial pair that I showed you guys on the breeding cycle. So they're currently sitting on their eggs. They'll be hatching soon. Got this pair here. Just paired them up. This pair is a pair that was going to stay together from last year and they had babies in December. So now, as you guys can see the age of these birds, they'll be coming out within the next week or so. So when I know I'm going to get ready to pull the little ones out, I add the second bull to the breeders. So I went ahead and added their second bull now, just so I could show you guys. And that pair having their second bull will let them know it's time to breed again, as you guys can see there. There's something about putting in the second bull, it kind of activates their breeding. So it speeds up the process a little bit. And since I do breed outdoors, all my breeders get plexiglass fronts uh, during colder weather because birds can breed even when it's cold. It's just the wind draft that really doesn't allow them to get it done. So I add these fronts here just to cover them up, keep the box warm. I just banded these two babies yesterday actually. And when I band birds, I know within the next five or six days is when they're gonna be coming out. And both of these little birds have little white center tails. Let me see this one here. Little white center tail birds, which the mother is the one that has that little trait. So the little white center tail, we know is coming from the mother's side. Just a little way to identify your pigeons. Once your pigeons have certain markings, you kind of get to identify what side they took over the most. Even though both of these are red, it'll make it hard anyway. So this is a young cock I flew all of last year. And he's one of the first ones I bred in the earlier rounds. And this guy was doing really, really good. So what I'm gonna do I'm gonna try this guy out on one of my best hens. We're gonna get two to four babies out of him and then we're gonna put him back in the kit box so he can get a second year of flying. And then if he can uh, perform during the second year and we can keep him around and he does what he's been doing, he's for sure gonna be a breeder. He already has breeder qualities. I'm just gonna fly him out this second year and see how he does, but I'm gonna foster about four eggs off of this pair real fast just to kind of see where we're at. This pair here, I bred it together all of 2020 and they did very, very good. I got a few kit birds in the kit box that did extremely good, better than I thought they would. So I'm gonna go ahead and leave this pair together also. And they have two babe, two eggs, not two babies, sorry, two eggs. This is also a pair from last year that I'll be keeping together. They did really good. They produced me some nice babies. So this is also a repeat mating for me. I like to switch up my pairs every so often, but when I see them do really good, I just try to keep them together to get more and then maybe select one of them for breeding. This was the breeding cycle pair. 
As you guys can see, the cockbird is laying on the eggs. So these babies will be out in about maybe 15 more days. And then we got this pair. This cockbird here, I flew him in 2019. And he was a real, real good bird in the air. He's actually a son of this bird right here. So I'm gonna try him out and see how he does. So that's my breeding update, guys. Uh, when these birds uh, produce their first set of babies, I'll go ahead and uh, keep you guys more updated um, as far as how this group of birds is gonna do this year. And then maybe we can add them to our young group. So this is what was left of the 2020 season. So these are the birds that we're gonna be adding to um, with this next round that's gonna be coming out. So most of these birds were already into the roll right before we shut them down. So hopefully what we add to these um, will make the group a nice group. I know my cage is a little dirty, but that's because the birds aren't doing too much flying. So I only take them out once a week to clean out the perches, which is probably gonna be today since I already cleaned up the breeders. So yeah, guys, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you guys think. Uh, I'm gonna try to be more active on the channel as far as like trying to film as far as what you guys want to see so if you guys can and want in this video comment let me know what you guys want to see more of so we can start creating a little bit more content of what you guys want to see